Yay Networks. Hi, you caught me. How y'all doing today? It's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. And you know, we're still neighbors. And that's what I like about it because nobody's going to move, honey. But you might move in your own little way, but you ain't moving away from me. Boo. Who going to check me? But anyway, y'all, honey, I tell you, it's been a very busy week. There's a lot going on, honey. I have a lot going on this um, weekend. It's Labor in Day weekend. And I'm going to be hosting Pride, y'all. So if you're going to be in the Atlanta area, I'm going to be hosting the Pride um, event, honey, the uh, Pride dinner. Um, and um, I'm going to also be receiving an award, y'all, a Trailblazer Award, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? I'm a Trailblazer. I'm going to be receiving that award on, on Sunday, honey, for the Pride Extravaganza. You see, I'm wearing my nice shirt, honey, and all that stuff, honey. Pride is what you want. Pride is what you need. But anyway, speaking of what you need now, you know, we talked about Lady B, honey. That's Beyonce. You know, she's been buzzing all over the place, honey. People are raving, honey, about her um, concert and stuff like that. But there's some few people out there that saying, honey, Oh, they're trying to talk about Beyonce the Queen, and I don't believe it at all. But they're saying that people are making like Beyonce, honey, is some type of um um evil person, some kind of devil worshiper, uh, witch practice, witchcraft, and saying some of the things. If you look at some of the position, the um um portals on her stage, honey, they have it like a woman's legs on this side, and then there's a big opening, and you know, like she's coming through the woman's leg, and just so much. So I can't break it down, but. There's a guy on social media that's talking about it, and it's sad because my thing is, honey, um, why um do these people want to talk about the queen, honey? I mean, we love Beyonce, and she does no wrong, but honey, I don't know. It, it, it's just one of those things, honey. You know, people say what they say and do what they do, honey. You know, some people say Christ didn't die on the cross because they wouldn't at the funeral, but we know he did. So, you know, you could only just listen to that stuff, but honey, I mean, uh, mm, they say the people that was going to Beyonce's concert was coming out of it. Uh, am, am, what were they amnetic? They were experiencing amnesia. So that's why this guy, honey, he broke it down, baby, and stuff. I think if I have some of that um, audio, whatever, yeah, I'm going to play it for y'all. We're going to put it out there so y'all can hear because he broke it down. And, honey, we love Beyonce. And we know you ain't going to be coming away with amnesia, honey, after you leave her concert because you're going to be singing all her tunes and loving her and doing all that other good stuff. So. We'll see. But also, you know, um, the word is out. <clears throat> My former boss, Steve Harvey, you know, uh, people, are, you know, he had to step in front of some rumors that people are saying that he and his wife are divorcing, honey. They're saying that, you know, allegedly, some people are saying that he slept with somebody, but then they're saying allegedly that she slept with her bodyguard. So I don't know what it is, though, but the thing is, it's amazing. And I know what the old folks always say, wherever there's a little smoke, there's some fire. But I, I just can't see that because Steve loves his wife and she seemed to love him too. I mean, you know, he adopted all her kids and they gave him the last name Harvey, like Lori Harvey. I mean, you know, so I, I just, you know, I can't see this couple, honey, having problems, honey, because, you know, uh, um, you know, being people talking about, but they ain't got an open marriage. <clears throat> uh-uh, open marriage? I don't think so. I know one thing, and I asked a question to a couple of friends, honey, would they have an open marriage? Ain't nothing going to be open in my damn marriage, honey, but a door. Because I, I just don't see it, honey. I, we living in a day now. People, honey, all these people today, honey, everybody want to just, you know, um, share and share alike, honey. If we can't get along, honey, you know, I, I just don't. I think we just need to divorce. I'm not about to share, honey. I ain't sharing nothing, honey, but food, if any damn thing. But people are, honey, you know, everybody's sharing. Everybody want to. You know, do what they do, honey. And, you know, what's good for me, good for you. And what's good for me, you and us, honey. But um, I don't think so. That's just, I feel bad, honey. I just real, I, I just feel real bad. But nevertheless, we're going to stay tuned, honey, and follow that story because I, I just can't believe that something like that would happen, you know, with this couple, honey, and much as they love one another and cherish and share, you know, I just can't see it. But we'll see. Um. What's her name? She got back with her uh, man, Kiki, Kiki Palmer. You know, they were talking about Kiki and her man was breaking up, honey, and stuff like that. After he made that outburst, telling her that you're a mother when she was being, honey, on the uh, um, 
at Usher's concert, and uh, she decided, you know, she wanted to wear some her booty out and stuff like that. And so, honey, they, um, you know, it just it it got out of hand, and people started saying they breaking up. But honey, he ain't leaving her, and she ain't leaving him, damn, because these people, honey, are staying together. Because Tina Turner said, "Let's stay together," even though Al Green said it too. Whether good or bad, honey, happy or sad. So, you know, so we want them to stay together. We need more couples to stay together, honey, like Denzel and Paulette and um, what's his name? Um, Samuel Jackson, honey, and his lovely wife. So, you know, stay together. Honey. It's so cheaper to keep, honey. But now, you know, it, it, people stand the hell with it. So they stand together. But I was, I got a report out there. They said that Jay-Z, honey, that's the... Husband of Beyonce, he returned to Instagram yeah, after two years. Now they're saying follows Beyonce and promotes the um the Book of Clarence. So he has this book um that he's promoting, honey, called the Book of Clarence. I know um a little bit about of it, but I'm not gonna um try to get into it and stuff, honey. It's you know it's a cinematic venture, so it gets out in the theater, but it's gonna be in the taste, but nevertheless. But he's back, honey. And some people say maybe he's back, honey, because he's probably ready to find him another woman, child. Because you know social media does it, bitch. It gives you the, the, I mean, it makes people find one another that lost. Like they said, they were lost, but now they're found. So you found your man, honey. So I wonder, child, how that's really going, how that's working for him. But the thing is, though, honey, I mean... You know, people, honey, seem to be, you know, we got to realize that everything is not what it seems, honey. And I, I just, I, I, I don't understand how people, you know, say, well, I, don't just shock me. Nothing shocks me. Nothing shocks me, honey, because, you know, I believe in, honey, like the old folks say, wherever there's a little smoke, there's some fire, honey. You know, and that's just the way it is, honey, you know. And it's just more and more stuff coming out, honey. And, you know, I just said about Beyonce. And, you know, the wound and woman and uh, wind and fire, earth, wind and fire and all that shit. But anyway, now is this is interesting. Now they're saying that Beyonce, honey, is pregnant, honey, with baby number four, honey. Now they're saying Beyonce and Jay-Z have a special fashion for the number four. Jay-Z's birthday is December the 4th. Beyonce's birthday is September the 4th. And the couple got married on April the 4th. Oh, my God. April is the fourth month, honey. And the couple have number four tattooed on their ring. And they say Jay-Z created an album entitled 444. Y'all got it here first. So Beyonce may be pregnant. They said the number four is about to be special. for the couple. They say because they learned that Beyonce is believed by people close to her to be pregnant y'all, with her fourth child. Oh, my God. And they say they have already parents of three children, daughters Blue Ivy and Rumi and sons, um, Sir, honey. So they say the words coming out of Beyonce's camp and the singer's printed again. So if that's true, good for Beyonce. That means, honey, she's procreating and little Blue Lily ain't going to be the only child. I mean, Blue Ivy ain't going to be the only child, honey. She's going to have some more brothers and sisters or whatever and stuff. So, you know, if she's pregnant, good for her child because, you know, oh, nah, that can't be so, honey. Her stomach, honey. I'm looking at picture, child. She ain't that goddamn big, honey, out there performing and carrying on like that, honey. I can't see it though, honey. No. But if you want another baby, honey, honey, power to it. Cause guess what? They sure could afford it, child. All right, child. You know, I have something that I want to share with you and you and yes, you too, honey. Yes, this is something that's gonna help all of us. Cause you know what? It's better help. So anyway, y'all, I want you to know that this tea, honey, I mean this week's tea, honey, is sponsored by Better Help. Okay, now, do you have a relationship, y'all, that's not working out? Do y'all? I'm sure some of you do, honey, because, baby, we all dysfunctional, honey. Well, or a major change, honey, in your life that is causing unwanted stress, honey, and anxiety. I got a lot of that. Well, honey, no matter what is giving you problems, honey, with your mental health, better help, baby, has you covered. Yes, we do, baby. Miss Better Help got you covered, honey. Now, this is the deal. It's helpful for learning positive coping skills and, y'all, how to set boundaries. And that's something I will say. That I'm gonna be honest. I just learned about boundaries, honey. I, I'm... I knew about it, but now I'm learning how to set my boundaries, baby. Now it empowers you, honey, to be the best version of yourself. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, honey, I want y'all to give better help a try. Now it's entirely online. So it's designed to be convenient, it's flexible, honey, and suited to your schedule. 
So just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with y'all and licensed therapists and switch therapists anytime, y'all, for no additional charge. Did y'all hear what I just said? It's just like a relationship. You don't care for that man, bitch? Switch him. All right. So I want y'all to let therapy be your map, honey. Okay, so with BetterHelp, honey, visit BetterHelp.com slash Gary's T today, honey, to get y'all 10% off of your first month. That's 10%. That's a lot, honey. So that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P.com slash Gary's T, okay? Because I'm going to tell y'all something, honey. When I was going through my problems, and I still, you know, have my little stuff that I go through and I get with my licensed therapist, honey, and talk it over with and stuff like that, honey, it helps out because all that boggling in stuff, honey. If you boggle it in, it's going to eventually erupt. And then, honey, you're going to be really looking like, mm, really foo-foo. So definitely, y'all, honey, get better help, honey, and do what you need to do, baby, and be a happy, happy person like me. All right, y'all, this damn rapper, honey, you know, and nothing shocks me with rappers, honey. But you know, rappers are human beings, and rappers have lifestyles, alternative lifestyles, and this and that I work with a rapper that's alternative, so, you know. But now they're saying that the rapper Lil Baby, now I didn't heard too much stuff about him. They was lying about saying that he was going, who they said was going, oh, um, James Harden. Now they were saying about, now they're saying, y'all, that he's going viral. Now the video was released that showed him getting affectionate with one of his male friends, y'all. Oh, Lord. They said, the video going viral, they said, Lil Baby is seen backstage, y'all, at a um, concert, um, talking to one of his homies. And at one point during that conversation, y'all, they say a little baby friend reaches over and puts his hand on the rapper's ass. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, I don't know, child. This is just, honey, this is too much, y'all. It's just too much, but pride, honey, is this week. So, I mean, hey, if you got some pride, honey, wave your pride flag and do you, little baby. But I tell you, it's just... It's a lot, honey. It's just a lot, honey, you know, going, honey. And, you know, people just talking and, like, people talking about Sierra. This is sad, y'all. They said, y'all, that Sierra, um, I think she's pregnant now, too, but they said her face changed. So people said Sierra's looking different, honey. So I'm like, well, how different is she looking, honey? So they're implying, honey, that maybe Sierra, honey, decided, you know, girl, just go get a little face did and do like the rest of the girls. Which I mean, I don't see, I don't see the big deal, honey. My thing is, honey, you got money, baby, to go ahead on and get your face done, baby. Go ahead, honey, you know, and do your damn thing, child. Because hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, honey. And hey, if you want to have plastic surgery, child, go ahead on and get your plastic surgery and make yourself look good, honey, and all that. Because I mean, I don't. If anything, I would like to have my butt a little bit. Because I have a, my butt is kind of flat, and I would like it to be just a little more cushy knee. You know, I mean, because when I sit down, it just hurts. It hurts me to sit down. That's why I like sitting on cushion. So if I had a little bit more cushion for the pushing, I think it would be nice. But since I don't, honey, you know, it is what it is, child. It is what it is, so. Do y'all remember um, Miss Shelley, like honey, the girl who said it's on something in your heart or something in my heart? Got, got, she did the date. Um, Suge Knight was married to him. I had kids with whatever. Well, anyway, what uh, this girl evidently, honey, she um, was on stage the other day. And they're saying, honey, that Miss Shelley, honey, was on stage. They said she was acting very crackish. Yes, honey. They said they honey, she on drugs, child. But I, I just, I hope and pray that that's not true, honey. Because Miss Shalane's a very beautiful girl, and we love her. She had that real squeaky voice, honey, and what have you. But she, um, she's a good person. She's a good entertainer. So now they're trying to say, girl, that this girl, honey, she acting crack. So, girl, I don't know what acting crack she is, honey. So, but whatever it is, they say she's doing it. Now, um, we all know those car trashes, dashes, flow away. And, you know, we know she and Tristan were, you know, had kids together, whatever. Well, Tristan's first baby mama, Miss Jordan Craig, bitch, she said, girl, honey, no, you're going to continue giving me my money. Now, she only gets, y'all listen, she only gets $40,000 a month in child support. Now, mind you, bitch, she had the first baby, okay? And so the judge granted her that. You know, he was making a lot of money at the time. Well, now, honey, his funds have depleted. He's going down. He's still making like $9, 10000000 million. So that ain't like he broke. 
um, honey, he talking about he wanted to um, decrease her pay, her child support. No, Negro, continue to pay that child and got custom to that lifestyle. You can't be just taking his goddamn money because you feel like because you didn't have five more other babies with five different mamas. No, continue to pay Jordan. Honey. That girl needs her money. She got to live her lifestyle that she's accustomed to living. And you know the baby needs. To, he got to eat. The child got to eat, honey. Don't you want your child to eat? I don't understand about these men. They be hollering about paying child support, but the baby got to eat, honey, and it's called daycare. It's called a mama sitting at home raising your damn bad-ass children when you out gallivanting, honey, and doing whatever you want. So my thing is, honey, um, no, she should continue getting her own money. She should get exactly what she deserves, and that's her $40,000, honey, you know, a month. Uh-huh, pay it. So, but, um, girl, now... Somebody might not be getting paid, honey, if they job in, honey. And I'm talking about, baby, these real house women of Atlanta. Because now the T is, baby, these girls are saying that, child. Um, they're saying that, honey, the producers and all the people of, honey, want real housewives of Atlanta. They want to scrub it out, baby. And they say they want to change it. They said they want to take all these damn old peach holders that's peach holding off the show and bring some new blood. Now, we were talking about this. And my thing is, though, you know, when Real Housewives of Atlanta first started, girl, it was, honey. They were housewives, honey. Miss Snow, I can't think of her first name. Miss something Snow. Lisa Woo Woo. And um, who else was on there? I think Nene was on there. She was on there. And um, Kim Zoe. Hold on. But anyway, they had these original And they were hungry. They looked like they need help. But, baby, then when these girls started getting more money, and so as now, girl, it changed. But um, I, I just feel that they need to... um. You know, they talking about firing Kenya and um Candy, so I don't know, but a lot of the girls like, honey, half of these goddamn girls be on the show and don't even have no husband. So why do they call it Real Housewives of Atlanta? But I understand it, though, but it, it, it's just they need to, they got to do something, honey, because, you know, Married to Medicine, honey, is becoming the next show. They should have been, excuse me, they should have been Real Housewives, because, baby, those girls carry on. And I like um, um Potomac. Potomac is a good show, too. So, but whatever the situation is, though, these girls better get together, baby. Y'all better get together, and y'all tune in on Sunday because, baby, they having the um, the um, uh, the finale. I mean, not the finale. What you call it? the reunion? They're doing the reunion already, y'all. Yes, bitch, the Real Housewives reunion is gonna be on Sunday. They are ready to, you know, usually the show just ended um last week, but they usually take a damn year, look like before they play the reunion. But, honey, it's coming on, so. Girl. Y'all better watch it. Yes, honey, watch the show because it's going to be real interesting and you're going to love it and I'm going to love you watching it. So just stay tuned, okay? So, all right, y'all. Now, listen, honey, that's the tea, bitch. So let me see. Um, Anything else I need to talk about? Because, honey, I want to make sure y'all get y'all dose, baby, because, honey, these girls, honey, trying to um act a donkey, baby. But we want y'all to know, baby, that, that, that real tea, honey, is, honey, that these girls, honey, gonna be looking for a job, and you know, honey, you know, and do what they need. So, you know what? This this just popped up. This just can Okay, we all know Nick Cannon got a bunch of goddamn children, honey. He got like twelve of them. What well, they're saying, y'all, which is really interesting, that his brother, y'all, which is said, got a Google, honey. You know the names of his nieces and nephews, cause you don't remember, cause Nick got so many, honey. He got to Google these children. Now, you know that's sad when you got to Google the names. Of I wonder if Nick got to Google the names of his own damn children. Cause I know he got some names. Powerful Queen, Milk and Magnesia, um, Corn Flake and Milk. <laughs> that's so many damn children. So many names. Child. You don't remember the name. Because I know dog well, I don't remember. Because I barely remember my own name. But anyway, honey, that is some my car, baby. That is some my car. That you got all these children. And, honey, you know... It's hard to know the damn names, honey. I wonder what they name. I mean, what are the damn names, honey? You know, I mean, he got um, Beautiful Zeppelin, honey. He got um, Legendary Love. He got um, Halo Marie. He got Zion and Zillionaire. I mean, he got, um, what's Mariah Kidd's name? Um, what's their damn name? What are they name, child? I don't remember their name, honey. Um, Maroc and Maron. So he got a lot, honey. It, it's just interesting. Though, but we're going to keep him lifted up in prayer. And we're going to keep his brother lifted up in prayer where he can remember all his nieces and nephews, honey. Because, 
They're definitely honey, kids with um uniqueness. Okay, then we're gonna just leave it at that. All right, y'all. Listen, honey. Okay, I have to run because girl, I gotta go, honey, um, into the PTA meeting. But anyway, I want y'all to um, you know, if you like what you heard, honey, just go ahead and click right there and click right there. Here, click, there, click, everywhere, click, 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 click. Click. All right. Have a great day and a better tomorrow. And you all are love. You're so beautiful. And we'll do this again on Manana, honey. I love you all. Take care. Have a blessed day.